Wash is just a Detroit thing. There was so much beef going on in the car scene. A lot of people was talking about pulling guns, killing each other. We came up with an alternative, which was Fight Night Fridays at the Wash. It's the neighborhood. This is where we be at, man. You gonna go on any Detroit street. These are the houses, everything pretty much fucked up. We, we really not out here trying to do no negative shit. You know what I mean? But it can get to that. Detroit, murder capital, people dying every day, people getting killed every day, it's not worth it. To me, people nice. got their motherfucking feeling popped up with this shit, man. For real, we just trying to have some fun, dog. Everybody always see the poverty, the killing. We just trying to put out a whole different side to Detroit that you might not even know about. I got beef, <laughs> come up to the wash. Come up to the wash, box it out. Get it Welcome to Detroit. We're at the famous wash. Everybody come to in the city. Whatever you done did, you done crossed the wash in the city. Detroit West Side, we the most known car wash in Detroit, period. We from the car world. That's how we all came together. Everybody sitting in here was in the car club. We started that and we started sliding and I acquired the car wash four years ago. The events started getting bigger and they started knowing our names. We started throwing bikini washes every year, keep it wet. And it just took over to like the whole city. It was about a mile down where you would see cars parked to come to the bikini wash. Then when they was ready to shut us down, they'd bring out 12 cop cars, about two helicopters, news reporter, all that to the car wash. You could tell as the years went by how many more people that we touched, you know, and reached out to because the crowd started getting bigger and bigger. So this is fight night right here. This is the uh, second one. This Friday, it's gonna be war the war. It's gonna be way more packed than this, way more. We offer car washes and we do haircuts too. So it's like a one-stop shop. We just try to do anything we can give back. You know what I'm saying? We've been doing things like we got the toy drive coming up for the kids. We deliver water to Flint before. Fight Club, why it's positive for us is because instead of people out here killing each other over nonsense and senseless shit, you can bring it to the ring and man up your problems and shake hands and be done with it. All these crimes and stuff going on around the city is over petty shit and people killing each other, you know what I'm saying? Funerals every day. The cops will fuck with us. I don't even get why the cops fuck with us for real. The city's so fucked up. They'll send a motherfucking one cop car to a person that done died or got killed, but you'll send the whole task force to some motherfuckers doing donuts. That shit backwards as hell. Out of all this shit that we going through, out of all the problems people going through, you got the one night to handle, put that shit on the floor. Yeah, I'm gonna introduce you guys to some of the fighters we got lined up for tomorrow. What's up, my baby? <laughs> you all right now? Yeah, I'm good. Hey, man, it's the car doctor right here. What's going on? What's going on? Man, he lined up to fight main event, actually. We're gonna see what my man Slow talking about, see if he get stretched out or not. Get him on the phone right quick, phone, you know. Man. Oh, shit. What's going on? Oh, it's money on the floor. Man, your big ass, where he at? Oh, ain't, ain't even you. Ain't He's sleeping? Oh, you the manager, huh? It's always the hey, manager man. talking shit. <laughs> your man scared to get on camera, though. Where he at? He's not scared. He just works nice. Come on, we need a face off, man. We just try to come together, do positive events in the city, because, you know, they shutting down all the parks. They won't let us hang out nowhere. So we had to figure out ways for us to have fun. You know, if we find somebody got a beef in the street to where, you know, it might come to somebody getting killed, one of us can go out and say, hey man, come on, come to the wash, fight it out, duke it out. There's a hidden spot. You see how you gotta go through the tunnel to get to this motherfucker? Hey, if you don't know Detroit, you wanna know. <laughs> This is where everybody goes after you get out that club, you drunk as fuck. And you gotta get you some chili cheese fries. 
Hey, we gotta set these fights up, though. I got three fighters right here. I got one right here. This motherfucking name is Thought Breaker on <laughs> Instagram. He 5'8 and weigh 150. You can match him up against. You think dog that's 180, too big for him? Hell yeah, man. 180, 30 pounds? Oh. It's still street fighting. Good looking, boy. Chili cheese fries, man. Good county dog. Take you to talk to a few people, a couple of my boys. Even if you get knocked down, you can get back up. If you get shot or killed, there's no getting up from that. You know, so that's what we trying to stop at the car wash. We live for family, shit like that. We hustle. Honor. That's what that we on a different type of time for real. Loyalty. We get, we we really not out here trying to do no negative shit. You know what I mean? But it can get to that. Yo, man's killing, you might think it's cool to kill. If you see one person get money, you might think it's cool to get money. <laughs> My niggas love to kill because they think it's sweet. And some people just crazy. They just don't give a damn. They don't give a fuck. They just kill and then it's a lot of it's a lot of people we really don't have resources. You know, D opened up the car wash. That's for that's how we take our anger out. We go smoke up the tires. Friday night boxing, it's a place where you can come and let out your anger. You can put the guns down and you can really just let it all out. Settle out your differences and not be so quick to take someone Pull one of these. If you can fight it out, it's better than losing somebody. Because at the end of the day, when somebody child walk out the door, you don't even know if they're coming back. You know, you got beef in the streets, you go settle that shit in the boxing ring. You know, that's something positive to bring to the city. You just got to find something to do to stop the killer. Right now, we downtown Detroit. We headed to my man's T shop. You know, T got a garage on the east side. I'm on the west side with the car wash. I've been knowing T for years now. We started together in car club. Welcome to the east side. Seven mile. Seven mile. My baby T. What's the deal, boy? But this new generation that's like right up under us, that's all they know is to pull out a strap. You can be beefing with a person over personal issues or personal matters. You never know what it could be. And that's not the way. And that's another reason why we did guns down, gloves up. We got to teach these young people, you can fight this out instead of just pulling up on somebody and shooting them. Because me and him, we both lost people to violence. I lost Definitely. my father at 14 to gun violence. His killer's still on the wrong. I lost cousins. I lost best friends. It's just, we're at a point to where we're just, enough is enough. Hey, man, y'all ready, man? Yeah, I'm, I want to see the money he's trying to cover. My man's Adam right here. And we got JR, Biggs. You know what I'm saying? Big's going against the car doctor. Just be ready. That's all I got to say. Just want to put on a nice little good fight, settle your beef. We expect the crowd to be war of the war. Bigger. The biggest, the the biggest, biggest tomorrow. <laughs> Team known around the city for the best hands in the city, man. The best driver. at the motherfucking wash. It's going to fuck down. The ring is about 10 feet wide, 10 feet long, so your ass can't run around and hide from nobody. We got the strongest edibles in the city. 500 milligrams and nothing. Then we got the masseuse right here. She gonna be giving out massages, all that good shit. Stand up for the camera and do a little twirl, show <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, just chill. Yeah, just chill. Have a good time. But y'all the main event. I'm gonna need some help for that fight for sure. It's gonna be fun, but as soon as they feel that real punch one good time, they gonna be like, oh shit. Woo, let me straighten up, watch. Who wanna step in the ring right now with Joe? Joe. Oh, okay.
30 seconds. 30 seconds. Yeah, he, he woozy over there. We gotta keep it safe out here, man. 30 seconds. Ain't nobody in the middle. Oh, God, thinking that you gotta do things this certain way to get recognition from your peers. And with all that status quo comes violence. guns and the violence, we, we don't want to do that. You know what I'm saying? So we got to find other avenues to keep ourselves busy, to keep us positive, to keep us together. Definitely got 40 on a knockout. to the watch, we hang out, we chill. Cops kick us out of everywhere else. You know what I'm saying? That's the only spot they can't kick us out of. <laughs> uh, Will, get in trouble. Uh, you know, today's a good day, bro. I mean, old boy shook hands. <laughs> See, that's what it's all about, though, man. You got to be for something, man, step in the ring. Oh, and you know what I'm saying? Get it over with that way. Yeah, that shit. Are you conducting business right now? Yes. Is your fucking shop open? No, my shop is not open. Then how the fuck are you conducting uh, you business? Call in again. Can you you got five that? minutes to clear this the fuck up? I'm taking this goddamn car. Five minutes starting oh. right now. What does that say right there? All right. Get you, this you, fucking you, shit you out. You gotta here. be all like that, man. Damn. Yeah. Tell me what we doing illegal. Okay. The smell of burning rubber out here. That don't, smell don't consist of us being illegal. Listen to what I'm this, saying. This we're, we're on the inside. Listen to what I'm saying. I'm listening, cause you keep you keep coming up here harassing yeah, us. I, we don't have to have a permit inside the building. We're not doing nothing. Sure, y'all done seen it. The cops are circle and pass my car wash, look, see what's going on, and all we doing is washing cars. Just work with us. Officers here, like just just come talk to us, give us a chance to tell our story, you know, and tell the truth about what's really going on. You know, they got the badge on, so they wanna we can do what we want, say what we want, we can stop what we want. But at the end of the day, we're gonna keep doing it. Even if you get knocked down, knocked on your ass, you're gonna get respect, you're gonna get love. We want everybody to come forth and settle their beef this way. You know what I'm saying? We all brothers and we all go to the wash. Yeah.